I told you last night you are not going all the way to Manchester on your own. Please! You can watch it on telly. Now sit up and eat. Don't understand. I didn't have letter complaining, man. You! What's a man you? Science worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. But, Dad, I've got to get a ticket! Oh? And how exactly do you intend to pay for it? Um, pocket money? Your pocket money for the next three months is spoken for. So that's a no, then? Definitely. You're the meanest, most horrible parents in the whole world! Parents never understand anything important. Morning, Henry! Ah! <laughs> oh, my bag! That mane! Oh, thank you, young man. Grown-ups. <gasps> and with 15 seconds to go, Henry rakes across the pitch. Surely he can't score from that distance. It's crazy. It's impossible. He's done it. It's in! Henry scores the winning goal. Some tickets. 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 Now listen, class. We've been lucky enough to be given two tickets for the Ashton Athletic Manchester United match. Me! 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 Quiet. I have decided that the class will play a football match at lunchtime. Margaret and Al will be captains, and the player of the match will get the tickets. But who decides who's player of the match? Me, Henry. And my decision is final. No way, Henry. I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Disgraceful! Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh, Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team, one nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Gorinda, over here! Uh, to my Henry! No way! Kay, we're on the same side. It did a wash name right in my eye. I can't see any bird. So easy being me. I'm what? Oh, uh, yeah. My mum and dad have bought me a new widescreen TV. So we're going to see it all in high definition.
definition. Yeah, high definition. You, um, want to get on your old telly, Henry? Yeah, suppose so. Oh, and we're having a special cake in the shape of a giant football. <laughs> cool! Yeah, cool! Don't worry, Henry. I'm sure there will be cakes at Aunt Ruby's, too. Henry, Mr. Gold. Oh, I wish I could miss the party. If only it wasn't happening at the same time as the final. <gasps> you waker! That's it! Time for tea! Hello? This is Ruby speaking. Uh, hello, uh, this is the uh, the Prime Minister. I'm phoning to tell you that the clocks are changing on Saturday, so tea time will be three hours later than usual. I beg your pardon? Uh, who is this calling? There's someone on the phone saying that tea on Saturday will be three hours later than usual. <laughs> nice try, Henry, but you're still coming. wrong with you is football fever. You've got ten minutes to get ready or you're going in your pyjamas. But... No buts, Henry. Uh, what's that you said, Aunt Ruby? Oh, dear. The party's cancelled. OK, don't worry. I'll tell Mum and Dad. You've got 20 seconds to finish your cereal, Henry. Henry! Where are you? Here he is! if it'll make you feel better, Henry. Be quiet, worm! I don't want to give Steve any presents! Don't be horrid, Henry. Stop! What is it, Henry? Come on, Henry. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I'm locked in, Dad! Really? Let me give it a try. <laughs> it's no use. It won't open. Why don't you go on without me? You can pick me up on the way back. Don't be so stupid, Henry. Come out of there. No! Henry, you come out of that toilet now, or I'll give all your toys away, and you won't have any pocket money until you're 94 and a half! I 
smashing the play off. Me too, Henry. This was going to be my big chance. Well, what are you going to do about it then? Get lost, bogey brain. There's nothing we can do. There's always something you can do, especially when it's your fault we're in detention in the first place. Like I said, get lost, bogey brain. Please, miss, Henry's talking. Thank you, Margaret, and I'm sure it won't have escaped your attention that you are talking too. Nice one, Margaret. That was definitely doing something. Please, miss, Ralph's talking too. Thank you again, Margaret, and that's twice you've been talking now. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Margaret? Get lost, bouncy ball brain. Just because I don't have my glasses, it doesn't mean I can't hear you, Al. Oops. And Margaret, that's number three for you. <laughs> Not so fast, Margaret, Al, Ralph and Henry stay here. The rest of you can go. <laughs> Which one of you is the best football player, would you say? Thank you. Uh, well then, you shall all stay in detention <gasps> for the rest of the day. <laughs> but to the science lab now! Attention! <laughs> Miss Barnes is here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sorkington. I've come to tell you that Miss Audborn has suggested that I referee the Ashton Athletic Junior Team football trials this afternoon while you go and get my glasses mended for me. But... but... So, off you go, Mr. Sorkington. Oh, uh, right, Miss Barnes. Uh, off I go. Uh, yes. She can't referee the trials. She's a girl, for one thing. And what's wrong with that, sir? Oh, uh, nothing, Margaret. I'm just upset about all this. So are we, sir. We're missing it too. Yeah, and we didn't stand on Miss Battleaxe's glasses. That in itself is true, Margaret. Oh, what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to do something. Oh, here we go again. Psst. Um, you're supposed to be in detention. We'll get into trouble if we talk to you. Oh, don't be such a wimp. I need you to deliver a message to Peter. I can't deliver a message to Peter. Yes, you can. Pull yourself together and listen. We've got a message for you, Peter. Have you? What is it? Um, it's a message from Henry. Not interested. But we'll get into trouble if you don't listen. Who from? Henry. Still not interested. And Margaret. Interested now. <laughs> oh, uh, just off to get the glasses repaired, Boudigar. Oh, thank you so much, Sidmouth. Oh, excuse me. Come on, then, you horrible lot. Out you go. Thanks, Worm. I did it for Margaret. What a worm! They're all ready for you, Miss Lovely. Donkey, donkey, 
Doodle-dah! Henry's doing a rain dance. Hi, hi, hi! I'm the sacrifice. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to bed. Both of you. Come on, hurry up. It's sports day tomorrow. What if it rains? And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready! And I never win anything. Henry! Uh, achoo! <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, poor Henry. Oh, well, expect you'll live. I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh, dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Operate? <laughs> We both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. <laughs> Peter, your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! It's a bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible. Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm. Are you sure you won't have one? Take your places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start. On your marks! I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you follow me. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Henry. That's the trouble with sports day. 